Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V! I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! We've, we've dealt with he who dwells in dark, deeper darkness, so let's uh, go and deal with a mechanical horror. So in some ways, you would think, didn't we already do that once? And you'd be right. But, well... Bodyguard! Ow! Yes, we had we had done that once before. We dealt with Omega, but um. So it turned out he might not have been the only one. Well, simple enough. I mean, we have these machine heads here. We're talking about these guys, right? Ho-ho, oh, if only. Yeah, those guys walking around, those aren't machine heads. Those are Omegas. And, uh, well, at least now we have that float active, so in case we run into one of them, we might be able to, uh, get away with it. We also have these Medusas to deal with, but fortunately we can just sing them a song. And I think outside of the... outside of the clearly mechanical enemies and those mini Satanas, all the enemies in, in this area are undead. So, let's uh, try and avoid the Omegas. It might be in our best interest. How are you? Okay, we have one more chest to grab. Fortunately, these guys do move along somewhat predictable patterns. At least, the ones in the middle do. They're not quite what I thought I was running into. Aha! All right. We have so far successfully avoided uh, avoided the omegas. Which mostly means we can take off our fire protection. Switch, because 
this is what deactivates the barrier here leading to Neo Shin Shinryu's roost. However, that dragon needs to wait its turn. Not what I was hoping for there, Ferris. this button, because this will allow us progress. I just have to get back downstairs for to access the progress. If we hit this switch, that's going to drop us right in the middle of the pack of Omegas. So, uh, just in case things get ugly. I, for some reason, don't have a fourth flame ring, but fortunately I have a flame shield, so Carl will be alright. Oh. And everyone's equipped with rainbow dresses or the Genji armor, because it turns out that rainbow dresses prevent confusion. It's a very handy thing to be able to block. Um, hello, sir. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Okay, fine, we'll do it your way. Ow. made that look easy, but if he decides to open, but if Omega decides to open up with his atomic ray, then, uh, if you're not equipped with fire protection, then expect to take 4,000 points on everybody. Doesn't end well if you're not prepared. now past the Omegas, and the Omegas don't respawn if you, if, if you have to, dis if you destroy them, so an alternative strategy would be to just come in here and give all six of them the beat down, then save it and come back. <laughs> Somehow I think the game with Dodge Mob was more interesting. Especially since, as I've maxed out all the jobs, 
beating up Omega doesn't doesn't really earn me anything. Oh well. Let's make our way upstairs. And all the way around. Dead, isn't it? All right. Now, with these in our pockets, we can head back. Just in hand, just drop down a hole. Aha! More ashes. More blitz shots. More zombies. Now this slide is the pathway back. We don't want to go that way yet. Now, funnily enough, just because of those Decromancers, there's not a lot of experience gained in this area. Anyway, here's the doorway for GFB. The button we pushed a little earlier, the last button we pushed opened that door. Oh, so we can reach this button. Open up the door to, uh... To reach the allegedly really scary thing. Fortunately, though, you have to actually talk with him to initiate the fight. So, uh, that lets us prepare. Magic, rapid fire, and spell blade. Alternately, we could we could equip uh, we could equip re reflect rings, but uh, yeah, we we definitely want that fire protection. Get the 
white magic and you will get the summons. Well, as soon as you feel like you're ready, it's uh, time to see what an upgraded Omega looks like. Spoiler, it's kind of terrifying. Glad you opened with that. Mega Mark II is that uh, he he has a he has a barrier that he changes and he has such high magic de magic evasion that um well we can't target him directly to find out what what he's weak against seven thousands of hit points you are weak to lightning. Take that, punk. He takes it well. Just in case he survives, but it doesn't look like he's going to. That's 65,000 hit points chewed through in a single hit, for a single attack. <laughs> oh, man. As a reward, you get us a force shield. Like that, punk. And, more importantly, Force shield is absolutely awesome. Oh, it's actually the first one on the list. It does not offer any any evasion, but it gives full resistance to any to any elemental based attack. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, quite the boon. But that also completely, it also finishes off all that there is to be found in this neck of the woods. Get out of here, I suppose. And probably also re equip my re equip my sandals.
unfortunately, getting out is quite easy. In fact, I would dare to say it's barely an inconvenience. We didn't even have to walk past the Omegas on our way out. <laughs> By the way, I believe that's, uh... Well, that went smoother than expected, so, uh, that will be for now. Next time, we will go and face the fearsome dragon. All the dragons, because Shinryu's roost is full of them. That's the tale for next time. Well then, later.